Hey traders, Parker here with a back tested strategy. One of the traders I like to follow is Mary McGonahue. If you haven't heard of her, uh, she does what's the name of the channel? Stock Charts TV. This is her. Uh, if you haven't heard of her, uh, she gives gives out a lot of information. Two of the indicators that she likes using is the RSI and the MACD for her confirmation of trades or trends that are going on. So I decided to try and back test her strategy, uh, a part of her strategy anyway. So her strategy uses the RSI and MACD. So what I've done was um, program this right here for RSI being above 50 and the MACD difference being above zero. So you see your long and you see your short. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide the uh, RSI and I'm going to hide the MACD. I'm gonna bring down the floating profit loss. And it's just gonna tell us when we uh, have bad trades or good trades. But you can see overall, these trades are pretty good. They gave you some ins and gave you some outs. You lost some money on this one, but you made a lot more right there. So what I'm gonna do now is just go and show the report. You can see here's your PN and PNL. Uh, this is the running PNL, but this is your for each trade right here. And I'm gonna scroll it all the way down to the bottom to get our uh, total. So our total profit and loss is ninety one ninety one thousand dollars five hundred dollars and seventy three cent. Uh, our max trade on Nvidia was forty three thousand uh, dollars, and that's a total of thirty three trades over the course of five years so even if we cut it down to one year and let's show the report and you would have made the max trade was still forty forty three thousand dollars and the total profit and loss is fifty six thousand dollars so that's still an awesome trade right there so we can uh push it down to the low this strategy seems like it works on the uh, lower time frames as well uh, the only difference that I made on here was I uh, for the high time frames I use simple for the lower time frames I use exponential. Uh, the rest of it is just the same. So we can show the report on this ten day five minute. You're gonna see a couple of losses, but I I don't think it's bad losses though. So your um, total. Max trade, the most you made on one trade was $4,500, and your total was $28,000. So I think that's pretty good for this type of strategy that uh, she uses uh, for the MACD and the uh, RSI. We can go to S&P 500 now to see how it works on the S&P 500 as well. So I'm just going to go to today and I'm going to just look at the show report and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. So we took 114 trades over the 10 day period. Uh, our total profit and loss was $3,000. Our max was 412. I'm going to go and just show you the code and go into more detail. So you can see what I've done was take the up signal and down signal and plot it into the order for the strategy. So RSI above 50, uh, the difference for the MACD above zero, the RSI below 50 and difference below zero. And I have everything going to the close as well. Uh, I think the original strategy was the highs and lows, but I feel like it's the closing price that uh, you just get in and out on. So one, uh, I'm trying to think of another popular stock, or we can just go to QQQ, the NASDAQ uh, technology ETL. And you can see right here, uh, I didn't think that thing was gonna change like that. So let's see. Uh, you can see right here, today was a down day for the market, or it seemed like it was complete sell off for the market. And you can see if you would've went short right here, you would have caught this whole entire move right there. So we show the report. So we're looking at about 600, uh, the max trade was $621 and your total profit and loss is 3,960. So you took about um, for 11, I guess 111 trades. Over a 10 day period, you made about 
four thousand uh, dollars. Your max trade was six hundred twenty-one dollars. So that's still pretty good. I'm trying to think of another one. Uh, what else has been in the news? SMCI. SMCI. Show the report. Forty-three over a ten-day period, forty-three thousand four hundred eighty-two dollars and nine thousand dollars was your max trade on SMCI. This was a high flyer, so let's go over a five-year day and let's uh, put this back on the simple moving average instead of exponential. Two hundred dollar loss, a thousand dollar gain, seven hundred dollar gain. So seventy three thousand dollars over five year. Um, Thirty two trades, seventy three thousand dollars over your max, and then your max trade was sixty thousand one hundred seventy dollars. So that's still pretty good for SMCI, but I was just confused. I guess it was just on one trade. Uh, that you made the bulk of your money on. That's why I just had to pause for a second. Because the bulk of your money, if you're, uh, what is that, $13,000 difference between here and here, roughly over 32 trades. So uh, let's go look at uh, MARA, MAR, one of the. Uh, minor stocks over five years let's show the report seven thousand dollars that's not good 29 trades so it must be a lot of drawdown over here yeah you can see it right there boom boom instead of getting out at these highs But I just wanted to demonstrate how this strategy works. If you want to try this strategy for yourself, just look at the link in the description and you can get this actual indicator. When you load it into Thinkorswim, just go into strategies and that's where you're going to actually find the indicator. It's not going to be with these regular uh, studies right here. But um, that's pretty much how you uh, will come in and just back test the strategy. Uh, I want to look at one of the stocks, CLSK. I think this one did. It shouldn't have done better than Mara, though. You see how it was just down over there. You took some massive losses or a lot of losses over there. So it's not effective for all stocks. Let's just look at the big boy real quick then. Bitcoin. What was that a million? Eight million? <laughs> Boy. Twenty nine million, one hundred sixty thousand. Thirty seven trades on Bitcoin. And I did move this to the simple, right? Yep. Got a little long signal. Google. Oops. Mm. Seven thousand over five years. I don't think that's good. I know Tesla should have. Uh, 41,000 over five years is fine. Especially if you're just taking 100 shares. But this is going to be the end of the video. Just look at the link in the description uh, if you want to try the strategy. I wish you the best and thank you for uh, taking the time out to listen to what I have to say. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. God bless.